Welcome to the LAM tutorial. So this is your introduction video and I'm just going to go through what we will be covering in this class. So this class is not quite beginner friendly. You want to have a little bit of experience before you attempt this. Um, so do take a look at the beginners class which comes free with any purchase. Um, and of course, if you've got a subscription, you can access all of the classes at once anyway. And that is the Thistle video. And what you want to practice specifically from the technique book in the beginners section is this fur technique, because the theme and focus of this class is drawing white fur, which is actually quite tricky. Now, when I first started pastel, I assumed that doing white fur like this was going to be far easier than doing some coloured fur like um, lovely ginger cats or something. However, I was quite wrong, partly because we need an underpainting that's going to support all of these little details. But if the underpainting is too thick, then these white details are going to become brown instead. And of course, that's not really what we're aiming for here. So we need an underpainting that's just thick enough that it's going to support the top layer of detail. And as you can see here, we've got some nice warms up on his forehead here. We can see some pinks around his eye, around his muzzle, and it goes into browns, a little bit of cooler greys over here. So we've got dynamic there with the different um, temperatures and tones of the underpainting which are informing us the shape of the face. However, it's not so thick that it's going to start to smudge with this top layer of detail when we put that on. So we're also going to be looking when we put the detail layer on um, at the different colours that we've got to work with, which is obviously very limited. We have got a white, so a 101. Um, we're going to be using your greys, your 230, um, and we have got the 270 as well, which is the warmer version of this. And we will also be using um, an ivory, which is a much more yellow colour of pencil. And we're going to be using the warms and the cools, so the more grey pencils, the more blue-grey pencils against these ivory pencils, to try and show the forms of the face. Uh, we've got to be clever with the limited uh, palette that we've got. So we're also going to cover how to do this really neat little fleece technique down here, which is actually simpler than it looks. But what I would suggest for the whole of the painting is that if you've got some scrap paper, and I keep like this bit here, I keep lots of bits of scrap. Um, so this has just been cut off uh, a painting. Keep all of those because they're really useful for you to be able to practice the techniques before you do them. So for this painting in particular, I would certainly suggest that you get some of these um, underpainting colors and see what happens uh, when you layer them up. See if you can tell when you've made that underpainting too thick and that if you go in to try and put some details on top with a white or a gray, if it's gonna mix in with that, you've gone too thick on your underpainting and that's no good. Equally, if it's too thin, your uh, lamb is going to appear not to have any structure to it and won't have enough presence on your page. So we're looking for a happy medium. Remember you're here to learn. So um, after a little bit of practicing, get into the, the drawing and give it a go. And I always advise people, write down what you've learned as you go along. If you think, ah, that's really worked. And I've done, I've, I've pressed really hard, for example, in the center of the eye and that that needs that needs to be there then jot that down and you can use that in your future drawings don't forget as well that we have got an online community um, at the moment it's on facebook under a group called emily rose fine art drawing class um, so just request to join that and every friday i'll give you feedback on your drawings so that you can get the most out of these classes so if you're ready to begin grab your pencils and let's jump in <laughs> 